Welcome back to lesson 1.7. We will pick back up with solving an absolute value inequality. Use these steps to solve an absolute value inequality. Okay, you're going to write two statements just like you did with an equation. Okay, but they're going to be two inequality statements. And they're either going to be connected by or and and. If it's greater or greater than or equal to, you're going to connect with or. So think greater or whenever you see absolute value bars. If it's less than or less than or equal to, you're going to connect the two statements with and. So think less than and whenever you have absolute value bars. So what you end up with is ax plus b greater than c or the opposite, negative quantity ax plus b greater than c for absolute value of ax plus b greater than c. If you have or equal to, it's the same kind of deal. You'll have ax plus b greater than or equal to c or negative ax plus b greater than or equal to c for absolute value of ax plus b greater than or equal to c. So it's greater or or. Okay, now for less than, you'll have ax plus b less than c and negative quantity ax plus b less than c for absolute value of ax plus b less than c. So less than and, same thing with less than or equal to, you'll have ax plus b less than or equal to c and negative a quantity ax plus b less than or equal to c for absolute value of ax plus b less than or equal to c. Then you're going to solve each inequality and graph each inequality on the same number line to determine the final solution set. Okay, so our first example like this, example four on your notes, is solve absolute value of 4x plus 5 greater than 13. So it's absolute value, so we see greater and we think or. So we'll have 4x plus 5 greater than 13 or the opposite, negative 4x plus 5 greater than 13. So let's solve. So for 4x plus 5 greater than 13, we're going to subtract 5 from both sides to get 4x greater than 8 and then divide both sides by 4 to get x greater than 2. For our second inequality statement, we need to distribute the negative, so that's going to give us ne negative 4x minus 5 greater than 13. We add 5 to both sides to get negative 4x greater than 18. So we need to divide by negative 4 when we have an inequality statement. Remember, you have to reverse that direction of the inequality when you divide by a negative. So we're going to have x less than 18 divided by negative 4. Now, we want to reduce that, so that's going to be x less than negative 9 halves. Okay, so we're ready to put both of these statements on the same number line. So here's our number line. So x greater than 2 means we have an open circle at 2 and we shade to the right. x less than negative 9 halves means we have an open circle at negative 9 halves and we shade to the left of it. So our final solution is going to be x greater than 2 or x less than negative 9 halves. Okay, example 5, we have a word problem. A professional baseball should weigh 5.125 ounces with a tolerance of 0 0.125 ounce. Write and solve an absolute value inequality that describes the acceptable weights for a baseball. Okay, your verbal model is that it's going to be the absolute value of the actual weight minus the ideal weight should be less than or equal to the tolerance, the allowed variability. So our algebraic model, if we use W for, for the actual weight, 5.125 is the ideal weight and the tolerance is 0.125. So we've got absolute value of the quantity W minus 5.125 less than or equal to 0 0.125. So that means that the actual weight and the ideal weight can have a difference at most of 0.125 ounce. Okay, so this is less than or equal to its absolute value, so it's going to be a less than and statement to solve. So we're going to have W minus 5.125 is less than or equal to 0 0.125 and the opposite, so negative quantity W minus 5.125 is less than or equal to 0 0.125. So let's solve. So um, in our first inequality statement, we need to add 5.125 to each side, which gives us 5.250 or just 5.25. So we've got W less than or equal to 5.25 and 
we go over to our second inequality statement, and we need to distribute that negative. So we'll have negative w plus 5.125 is less than or equal to 0 0.125. So let's see, we need to subtract 5.125 from either side, and that gives us negative w is less than or equal to negative 5. Okay, w is being multiplied by negative 1, so we need to divide by negative 1, and of course we'll have to reverse our inequality. So we get w greater than or equal to 5. So the weight has to be less than or equal to 5.25 ounces, and the weight has to be greater than 5. It's greater than or equal to 5 ounces. So let's put this on a number line. Here's our number line, and just down to our solutions there. So here we've got w greater than or equal to 5. Here we have w less than or equal to 5.25, and is where they're both true, so we want just where they overlap. And so it's that region of the number line that starts at 5 and includes that endpoint and ends at 5.25, including that endpoint. So our final answer is 5 is less than or equal to w, less than or equal to 5.25. Okay, one more example. The thickness of the mats used in the rings, parallel bars, and vaults must be between 7.5 inches and 8.25 inches inclusive. That means that it can be exactly 7.5 uh, inches and exactly 8.25 inches. Our endpoints are included. Write an absolute value inequality describing the acceptable mat thicknesses. Okay, the first thing you need to do, because we're given the extremes, we're given the smallest possible value and the largest possible value, is we need to find out what the mean is, and that's going to give us the ideal thickness. Okay, so we're going to calculate the mean of the extreme mat thicknesses. So we add them together and divide by 2. So we'll have 7.5 plus 8.25 divided by 2, and that comes out to be 7.875. So that's the ideal now we're going to find the tolerance by subtracting the mean from the upper extreme. So we're going to do 8.25 minus 7.875, and we get 0 0.375, and that gives us the tolerance. So our verbal model is absolute value of the difference between actual thickness and mean of the extremes, the ideal thickness, and that has to be less than or equal to the tolerance. So the absolute value of T for thickness, you can use X if you want, minus 7.875 is less than or equal to 0 0.375. A mat is acceptable if its thickness T satisfies absolute value of T minus 7.875 is less than or equal to 0 0.375. So example 6 is just working backwards um, of example 5. So they're related, but they're different. Okay. Now it's your turn. You need to do the problems to try on your own. There are five of them. We have some kind of major concepts here that you need to try out, so we want to make sure you can do them. So go ahead and try um, problems one to five there and have this ready to show me whenever you get to class next time.